Uh, daughter has a 2011 Honda. Great car, but it does have the dreaded VCM in it. Um, of course, you know this is where it's um, valuable variable cylinder management, so it shuts off different cylinders in the vehicle, bypass system, so on and so forth. A lot of known issues with it. They actually don't even make this mo motor anymore because of that. There was a, a lawsuit that happened for it, so on and so forth. Um, so we are going to bypass that um, in order to stop the misfires from it adjusting the piston rings for fouling spark plugs. Um, if you don't believe me, look up Honda VCM um, and you'll read all this stuff. It is a pretty simple solution. Cost you about a hundred and a half, but we are going to disable that today. Um, pretty simple process. We'll show you how to do it. All right, it. there's going to be two videos on this post because uh, my daughter wants to make a video because she says I don't know how to do it. But anyways, so it'll be pretty comical and you all can comment on who did better. But what we're going to put in today is the VCM Tuner 2. Um, this will disable the VCM uh, or if you don't know much about it, be your echo boost. Um, this one is electronic, so some of them that you get, you have to adjust based upon the season and the temperature in the area you're in. This one does it automatically. Pretty simple, plug and play. Uh, you've got this, this strap here. This is an extra ground. Uh, you won't use it unless you need to reactivate the VCM or if you want to hook it onto a toggle switch where you can flip it off and on. Um, we won't do that. We're just going to leave it on all the time. So we won't use this one. The rest of it is just simple plug and play. I'll post the link um, to where you can get the tuner in the, in the description, but we're gonna go through the process, show you how to do it. Should be pretty simple. All right, not really necessary, but we're gonna take the vanity cover off. Um, you just turn these a little bit and then this cover raises off. I, I actually don't have to do this because I know where it goes, um, but it's just to give you a little bit more access in case you don't All right, know. So the first thing you're gonna do is hook no, the first thing you're going to do piece. is unplug this. You're making your own video. So, we're going to put this piece on here, right? You can bend this slightly uh, and hook it onto your battery tray bolt. And then they give you a supplied wing nut that will screw right on to hold that in place. So, we're going to tighten that down. And then I'll show you the next one. All right, so you just go ahead and tighten this down. You can bend this clip a little bit. Just make sure you bend it. Don't mess up the, the box itself. And then what you're going to do, you're going to remove this right here, which is directly bottom right, I guess, for, for anybody that doesn't know. And it just slides off. There is a little tab on the back. So you'll push here to get it to slide off. And then it's pretty simple. You can't really mess it up um you've got a female that will go into the male down here and then your male will go into this female and just hook them back together all right so my daughter went ahead and plugged them in um but essentially the one that was hooked into here goes back into the loom that goes to the tuner uh the other one just hooks back in down here it'll only go one way then they do give you some a uh, little velcro strap so you can kind of put them together uh, to keep them out of the way and keep them from getting tangled up. So I will have her do that. We've got this thing tightened up. The only thing left should be to hook it to the battery. Yeah. All right, this thing comes with very detailed instructions, um, but just letting the daughter do some of the work on it. But she did use the Velcro strap, got some of this stuff up out of the way. Um, all we've got to do now is hook this to the battery. Uh, should be a 10 millimeter wrench. Should be good to go. After that, fingers crossed. All right, so pretty simple plug and play, already done. This just hooks on, this is a 10 millimeter. What I did do was notch this cover a little bit um, so it sits down flush. Uh, my daughter wanted to be creative and do this. Doesn't matter how you do that, whatever. But as long as this does what it's supposed to do, um, it's definitely the way to go. Again, link will be at the bottom. Thanks for watching as we go Hi. test this out. Um, this is Haley. Um, my father is helping me work on my Honda. And we're going to install the VCM tuner. So, yeah. This is what she looks like on a typical day. And I believe we'll be installing it right here. Um, don't quote me because I am probably wrong. 
Okay, so Dad's definitely doing it wrong. They said to unplug this first. I don't think I can. Do you like to do the honors? I'm Okay, he got it. Oh, that didn't sound good. And now we're gonna plug that one into that one. <laughs> Got the little Velcro on there and they're plugged into each other now. It's getting a wrench at the moment to get this off so that we can attach this to this. And then we shall see if my car works.